Hey everyone, I'm back. This time it's a new Pokemon talk about. Okay, so you might remember the, my last couple of videos. I was doing like uh, some few Gen 9 plans, like uh, or my uh, teams for Gen 9. Yeah, I know well, that uh, there is going to be a theories or rumors that Gen 9 is supposed to come out you know, in. After uh, Pokemon Legends Arceus, either on uh, 2022, late 2022, or early 2023. So that is the same reason why I turned on this camera. Right, to like uh, bring up what uh, theory means or rumors that I picked out for like uh, some few Gen 9 ideas. So yeah. I decided to turn on the camera so I can show you. There is going to be a little bit of a drawing tutorial into this because one, one, I haven't done a drawing tutorial for a while. Two, two there's three Pokemon on starter ID. Yes, I came up with and three. Me, actually, there is no third one. Other than that, though, I drew Figgy Mom before, but other than that, though. Let's get started. So for we're starting off for the first one. One is one of the ideas that I came up with. This re, uh, the uh, next Gen Nine reason region would be uh, Brazil because of the uh, Zaru Ruda uh, uh, rumor thing, like how uh, s uh, some few mythical Pokemon who are introduced who is like. I kind of like uh, represent in the next gen. Like for example, Keldeo represent in the uh, night ship, ship, and there are Ka in uh, Kalos, which is also Paris. They uh, represent knights, I think. And in uh, Alola, well, Gen Seven, and they. Uh, well, wait, I skipped one. Volcanion is kind of like an erupting volcano, so with that he kind of like represent Alola uh, for a little bit because of the volcanoes and Hawaii has volcanoes. <laughs> and also, of course, Magirna, same thing with Meltan and Melmetal, represent the uh, iron things from a myth, if I've heard, but uh, didn't specify. And as for Zarud, he's a babu. So he can either be found either on uh, Africa or in the what? Well, Brazil. So that is why they, why I thought that Brazil it will be a perfect region for Gen 9. You know what? I didn't even came up with the idea. My brother did. So I decided to take that. So thank you. <laughs> yeah. So that I think Brazil would be a good choice. Now it's time for my my real idea. My idea would be like Arizona. Now here's my reason why I chose Arizona. One, they did like a pattern thing with like uh, some few other regions like Unova, they did New York. Um, Alola, they did Hawaii. And I thought maybe Arizona. Also of course, Arizona is kind of like a, a desert area. Yeah, and the mission would be like uh, to cross through the desert or there's sort of like the wild area at first. But yeah, other than that though, uh, that would be a cool idea either to do Arizona or mainly Brazil. So with that, I thought it would be cool well, to do those regions. Now, my next thing will be the starters. Okay, I'm going to have to like... Switch out to my drawing mode where I will explain what the starters will look like. And here it is. Oh yeah, one more thing. Let me explain about the rules of how I'm going to draw these uh, starters I thought of. Rule one. One, all the uh, things are had to be like based out uh, representations. Like for example, grass starters are based out of extinct animals. Animals, uh, fire starters, they're based out of zodiac signs. And water starters are based out weapons. So with that in mind, right? And also, of course, they also well, represent the uh, culture 
whole thing throughout the the region. Like for example, in in like uh, the UK, they they did rock and roll with Rillaboom with drumming. Football or soccer is a popular sport, or in U in the UK, and for Intellion, they love 007 so much. <laughs> All right then, now I'll start this off. Oh, for the grass starter, I decided to pick a, a samba dancer because one, one samba is a popular uh, festival in Brazil, and I thought of a samba dancer would be fit for a grass type starter but I couldn't figure out which animal so I decided to pick a fox or a wolf well depending on how uh, extinct they are I couldn't find any ones but anyways what I did was I decided to make it look like a, a fox like like character sort of like Del Fox but with more like feminine straight rates to the uh, dancer <laughs> but not too uh, feminine like but anyways I was going to make this uh, Grass Dark, but no wait, Grass Psychic, but I changed it to uh, Grass Dark because most festivals are held in the, in the night. So I decided to do that, and I designed the uh, colors to make it look bright green and uh, dark green to make it some like grass type stereotypes. <laughs> yeah, so anyways, what I did was like color each one like some few fur in there. And here it is. This is some fox or a some box, the dancer Pokemon, a grass and dark type. Some bo fox loves dancing, and every time, and when she dances, is a uh, um, <laughs> it tracks some few Pokemon, on. But other than that, though, some fox whip, it'll strike with it. it's alluring dance. It is <laughs> so one of its new moves will be called. On the grassy dance or something like that. <laughs> but yeah, here it is. Som Fox. Or Som Fox. Ah, it's hard to pronounce. So for my next one, I decided to make the uh, fire type more like a, a bull mixed with a boxer. Because one, the next zodiac sign would be like a, a bull maybe. And for boxing, because of the Olympics, it's during Rio. But yeah, <laughs> Anyways, here's how I, I try to make it more like the uh, stancing type for boxing, but even I added even a cape to it because most boxers would come in either with the cape on and then take it off and ready to box. Along with the hooves, I make them big enough to look more like boxing gloves. <laughs> yeah, and the typing for it would be fire sidekick. You might be wondering why not fire fighting? Not because of that though, but flammable is what I'm going to call it. It would be a fire psychic type because boxing is sort of like a, a strategic type of sports. Like a, you think of a strategy to attack. So with that in mind, I decided to make it a psychic type with some few purple vibes into it. Because purple is a, another good example for a psychic type. Not sure if there's a lot, but yeah. I decided to get it with some few purple vibes with some like red skit into it. So that uh, I would make it more like a fire type I bowl. But yeah. So with that, here are some few colors into it. And when I'm done with this, here is Flammable, the boxing Pokemon. A fire and psychic type. Flammable is very smart and thinks of a perfect strat. Next spot to like strike it and get hit from its weak spots. But when it gets mad, whenever it sees the color red, like all bulls do, it'll get super mad and goes for a headbutt. Flammable's signature move will be called, called, called uh, the Mind Fist because it would store the power from its mind for an all powerful punch. This bull would be dangerous. Even to some professional boxers. <laughs> yep. So with that here is flammable. Last but not least, for the water, I thought like a an adventure ring like uh stop aisle and uh some few you have a crane in stereotypes. So here's what I created is Craventure. 
So I try to make it more like a humanoid bird-like thing, sort of like Decidueye right? or Blaziken or Empoleon for a little bit though. But except at this time, I gave like the uh, wings some arm vibe right? to make it look more like, like a bird more than a human and like thing but <laughs> yeah i also made in the feather there is more like a hat and the typing of it is water and ghost because most adventurers are like ghosts sometimes they disappear sometimes they like uh escape out so with that might i i decided to make it more like a wire ghost like thing and with that that might i thought of indiana jump with giving it some few whip vibes with it. <laughs> yep. And for the colors, I did like some kind of like a bluish style for some water. Er, <laughs> yep. And here it is. Craventure, the daring Pokemon. A water and ghost type. Craventure loves adventure. And whenever they go into the toughest spots, Craventure will draw through every obstacle just to make it throughout its goal. It's move, Shadow Lash. It brings out a powerful lash that will whip out uh, even a powerful uh, Pokemon such as Machamp or even, you know, of course, Golem. <laughs> With that in mind, Creventure is really daring, just like Indiana Jones. So that's why I thought of for the uh, Brazilian region like Starters. A samba dancer, a boxer, and an adventurer, sort of like Indiana Jones. But I couldn't figure out what I wanted to do with the uh, Arizona starters, like which ones I would pick. I only got one. A snake that is fast enough, sort of like a, one of those desert or runners. The reason why is because uh, desert run running or desert skiing is kind of like a thing and snakes are very good. Ooh, it's surviving through the desert, so that's that. Maybe uh, like a a water like boar and a a grass coyote. I don't know. I that's all I could like uh, share with you all. All for the uh, Arizona starter ideas. Only got one. It's a snake. And maybe a boar, cause like a uh, boar survive. I'm in the desert, and snake and coyotes do the same thing. Maybe that. <laughs> yep. Now time for some like legendaries. Maybe it would be something like Pokemon Summer or Pokemon Winter. Or for like both of them. I'm not sure Brazil doesn't even have a winter. Maybe on uh, on the mountains. And you would get like to me like a, a legendary Pokemon. On, in a winter area. Or like in a sunny area. Sort of like how... Uh, you meet Ho-Oh or Lugia in Gen 2. Who you meet them in two separate you know, like uh, places where you can meet either Lugia or Ho-Oh. Maybe that's a good idea for Pokemon Summer or Winter in Brazil. Or maybe in uh, Arizona. <laughs> yeah. And uh, for the legendaries things for them. Maybe it would be like a, a fiery snake and a, a winterly horse. Maybe a, yeah, maybe a snake and a horse would be a good thing because in summer, snakes are cold blood they have reptiles and they need like war, like to like, uh, need the heat to keep them all nice and warm. And as for the horse, sometimes a horse would, would withstand the cold for a little bit though. I don't really know. I'm not a horse person in myself, but maybe, uh, a snake and a horse would be a good legendary Pokemon. Now for some like fossil ideas. That's right. I know there were some few like cool fossils, but that's one of the three main things about Pokemon: the uh, fossils, the uh, starters, and the legendaries. With some few like fossil Pokemon ideas, I would thought of. I thought of, like. Five since like uh, they skipped down for fossils that if for gen one they did like an ammonite some kind of like bug like creature or which I don't even know about and a pterodactyl like aerodactyl 
the uh, bug things for Kabutops. And for Gen 2, no Gen 2 starter fossils. Gen 3, they did kind of like a, another bug thing, which I couldn't even thought of. And some kind of like a, a combination of a hybrid between a starfish and a plant or cradilly. For Gen 4, they did for fossils is a Pachycephalosaurus and some kind of like Protectosaurus for both Rampardos and Basiodon. Gen 5, they did like an Archie thing for like Archaeops and a Archeon for like a Tortuga and Terracosta. So that, that. And for Gen 6, they did. And two iconic ones, a Tyrannosaurus Rex for Tyrantrum, and uh, some sort of like a family member of a Brachiosaurus. There were no fossils for Gen 7, but when they did for Gen 8, I thought like, what? Because they look kind of like dumb. I know Ash has a Dracovish, but I don't really care about the anime too much. But what gave, what my brother told me, about the fossil Pokemon Origins, which I thought was Jurassic World. Well, it was originated from how uh, how the UK fossils are found, and they're just lazy to like uh, mismatch them. That's why like uh, Dracovish, Dragozolt, Draco Arcto uh, Zolt, and Arctovish are kind of like that. So with that in mind, here are my ideas. And I would, maybe they would do something new besides dinosaurs or extinct bug uh, species. Maybe they might like do some ice age animals. Say like a, a rock ice type saber tooth tiger. And a rock, rock grass type, type of megalosaurus. Or megala... It's so, so kind of like an extinct deer species is what I thought of. And some few other things like a, a rock steel type stegosaurus. And it's with like a spikes, sort of like a combination of a stegosaurus and kentosaurus. Sort of like the stego spike zor, or what I thought of. Same thing with the tiger claw zor, I thought of like for a, the rock, rock eyes saber tooth tiger or smilodon. And for the big finale, a rock water type mosasaur. Now here's the reason why I would pick a mosasaur for rock and water. Not because for a Jurassic World, but a rock water, water type like a mosasaur would be a cool thing because they did like a rock flying type aerodactyl, which in the Pokedex entry, they did like ruler of the skies and maybe Tyrantrum was like ruler of the land. And it would be really cool if they did like the ruler of the sea, sort of like a mosasaur or sort of a thing. <laughs> yeah. So that might, I thought like a, a mosasaur would be a good choice. Now for some regional birds or rodents and, and or uh, some few other Pokemon I thought of, I'm only going to share three. I thought maybe like a parrot would be a good a choice for like Brazil or in uh, or in Arizona it would be like a, a buzzard parrots because parrots when I saw Rio well the uh, birds are most likely parrots in uh, Brazil so I thought like par parrots would be a good choice unlike toucan and which is actually a toucan which it would have been way perfect Makes sense to Conan's from like a uh, Alola and shouldn't be like in uh, Brazil, like most two cons are for, from. <laughs> and for buzzards, buzzards are sort of like a hunter who like uh, pick off any like flesh from dead bodies. So I thought like a buzzard would be a cool thing, or like any any regional rodents. I'm not a big rodent and fan for the regional rodents, so I'm just going to leave it out like that. 
And now for the last thing I wanted to uh, talk about, some few regional forms I thought of. Now, I couldn't have thought of anything from Arizona, but I only did mostly for Brazil. Now, for uh, the regional forms I would like to see would be uh, for Gen 9, I would, I would like to see Mawile and to have a new evolution. Now, I know some people are going to say, but Mawile has a mega evolution. Now, here's the thing. Both Slowbro has both a mega evolution and a regional form. And I thought it would be really cool if Mawile would get the same thing, including with a new evolution, because I really like Mawile, and she deserves a cool evolution and then a mega evolution. But other than that, though, it would be cool if Mawile would get a regional form for Gen 9, and some few others, like Blitzel and Zeb Stryka. Uh, maybe it would be like a, a ground fairy type. Psyduck and Golduck would keep their water type, type but also add in with a psychic type. No, ghost and psychic. That one is better. <laughs> with some few others, like some few Johto starters, There's or like their regional forms, like for example, Meganium, Grass Fairy, Typhlosion, Fire Steel, Feraligator, Water Dark. So those are my ideas for like some few regional forms I thought of. Other than that though, I would love to see a regional form of Mawile, same thing with Blitzel, Zeb Stryka, the Golda, and Steinduck and the three J Johto starters. <laughs> All right, that'll be it for this video. Now, before I go, here is question of the day. Which of these three starters would you pick? Would you pick Craventure, Flammable, or Sunfox? Sombox. <laughs> I'm just going to call it Sombox because it's going to be like Samba but with a ox. <laughs> a fox. <laughs> but yeah. Which of these three final evolved starters would you pick? You can uh, answer that question down below in the comments. Or if they don't have any comments, then I'll put do a posting on Instagram. And to like uh, tell you what starters that you would pick, me, I would go with Craventure because I like this design. <laughs> Actually, all of them are pretty cool in my opinion. And though, I really enjoy them a lot. But other than that though, this this is not like a, like a real video thing because I'm not in charge of Pokemon. On, but they're just ideas of like what would would Gen 9 be? He so like uh, don't say it's like it's fake or like uh, it's not true at first because I know these are faking on um, But other than that though, well, what do you guys think of the idea? Yeah for the uh, Gen 9 either for Brazil or Arizona More will be coming soon you know, like some few uh, like uh a new sensei blockhead. <laughs> I'm definitely excited for that. But other than that though. Let's hope for a Gen 9 soon for the future. And I will see you next time. Bye. Don't forget. Pokemon Legends Arceus. Will come out on the 28th. I'll tell you my honest opinions of how I feel about it. In a future video soon. But like I said. Let's hope for the future. For Gen 9, either it gets confirmed. So I'll see you next time again. Bye. Hey, it's me, BDH. But I'm also known as the Brick Dragon Hero. That video was great, huh, Applex? You said it, BBJ. And if you want to see more of the Brick Dragon Hero videos, all you gotta do is subscribe. Follow Brick Dragon Hero on Instagram. Like for this video. Share this with your friends. And comment down below what you think of that video. And don't forget to check out the last video.
So thanks for watching and have a brick day. Whoosh.